Ian Book and Notre Dame have proven the doubters wrong this season, including myself. Many believe that Notre Dame would be exposed by joining the ACC, but they have actually thrived this year. A lot has to do with the play of their starting quarterback, Ian Book. But who is Ian Book? In the Who Is series, we go through the backstories of up-and-coming collegiate and pro athletes. If you enjoy these videos, leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If there's a player you want to see in future videos, comment it below. The goal is to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Ian Book grew up in El Dorado Hills, California. The head coach of Oak Ridge High School had been watching Ian Book play since he was 9 years old. His daughter was a cheerleader for Book's team at the time. Book would go on to attend Oak Ridge for high school. Cavalier told the AP Press a story that stuck out to him while Book was at Oak Ridge High School. We're late in the heat of a playoff game. This great comeback from 21 down at halftime. A game Ian took over. A game they went on to win 45-42 in overtime. Ian spots our athletic director, Steve White, who's also his math teacher, and starts asking about his math test he took a few days before. Starts wondering how he did. Ian says something like, Boy, question 14, that was a tough one. And his teacher's like, hey, focus on the game. Coach Cavalier goes on and says, but that's the thing about Ian. He had things under control. He's cool and calm and is not going to let anything emotional overtake him. He can handle any situation. Book was a three-year starter at Oak Ridge High School. During his sophomore season, Book threw for 2,558 yards, 30 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions. He led Oak Ridge to 12 wins and to the sectional semifinals. He was also on the cover of Sports Star Magazine with Jake Browning and Matt Jimison in 2013. During his junior year, he threw for 2,025 yards, 18 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions in 10 games. He improved his completion percentage from 60% to 62.5% between his sophomore and junior season. Book's best statistical season came during his senior year when he threw for 3,049 passing yards, 30 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions in 13 games. He led Oak Ridge to a 10-win season and to the sectional semifinals once again. He was named the Sierra Football League Most Valuable Player, along with being awarded the Back of the Year Award by the National Football Foundation. Book also finished as a Sacramento Bee First Team All-Metro member. Book finished his career at Oak Ridge with 7,632 passing yards, 78 touchdowns and 17 interceptions, while completing 64.6% of his passes. Ian Book was overlooked by a lot of schools due to his height. Coming out of high school, he measured to be 6'1 and 200 pounds. Notre Dame's official website actually has him listed as 6 foot 1 8 inch tall, though. He was rated as the 20th best pro-style quarterback in the nation, 58th best player in California, and 517th best player nationally. Book only received five total offers from the likes of Boise State, Idaho, Notre Dame, UNLV, and Washington State. Originally, Boise State was the frontrunner for Ian Book's services. Mike Sanford was recruiting Book to Boise State, but a week before Book was planning to commit, Sanford took a job at Notre Dame. Book decided not to commit to Boise State after Sanford left and decided to look at all his options. He had just gotten an offer from Washington State and had always dreamed about playing in the Pac-12 after growing up in California. On top of playing in the Pac-12, he would be able to play in the air raid offense run by Mike Leach at the time. Book was hesitant to commit right away because he did not know if he would get a call from Notre Dame. Book decided to commit to Washington State and was happy to be done with the recruiting process. That was until a few months later Book got a call from Sanford at Notre Dame. Sanford asked Book to come visit Notre Dame and at least consider the school. The issue was, Book did not like the idea from decommitting from a school and hated when other people did it. After talking about it with his family, Book decided to at least visit Notre Dame due to the tradition and how strong the school was academically. After Book got back from the Notre Dame trip, he knew South Bend was the right place for him. Three days later, he made the call he had been dreading and decommitted from Washington State and later committed to Notre Dame. Many questioned the decision from both sides. For Notre Dame, people were curious why they were recruiting a short, lightly recruited quarterback. For Book, why go to a school that had just recruited a highly rated dual threat quarterback from New Jersey, Brandon Wimbush? Book's answer to the criticism was that no matter where you go, there will be other quarterbacks that you will need to compete against. During Ian Book's freshman year, he served as the fourth string quarterback behind Sean Kaiser, Malik Zaire, and Brandon Wimbush. After the season, Kaiser decided to enter the NFL draft and Zaire transferred to Florida. Going into Book's second year on campus, he was viewed as the clear backup quarterback behind clear starter Brandon Wimbush. 
Book played in 10 games, mainly as a backup, but after an entry to Wimbush, Book made his first start against North Carolina, where he led Notre Dame to a 33-10 win and threw for 146 yards, one touchdown, and two interceptions, while also rushing for 45 yards on the ground. Book got significant playing time against LSU in the Citrus Bowl when he came off the bench to help lead a Notre Dame rally to win 21-17. Book threw for 164 yards and two fourth-quarter touchdowns, along with an interception. Book finished the season completing 61.3% of his passes, 456 passing yards, four touchdowns, and four interceptions, while also adding 206 yards on the ground. Notre Dame finished the season 10-3, and, and there was rumblings Wimbush was going to have a quarterback battle with Book going into the 2018 season. Wimbush ultimately won the starting quarterback job, but struggled out of the gates. He led Notre Dame to a win over Michigan in Week 1, 24-17, but after narrowly avoiding upsets against Ball State and Vanderbilt, 24-16 and 22-17, respectively, Brian Kelly decided to turn to Ian Book as the starting quarterback for the Irish. Book got the offense working immediately, leading Notre Dame to a 56-27 win over Wake Forest. Book became the first FBS quarterback since Russell Wilson in 2011 to win his first five starts of the season and have a 70% completion percentage in each of those games. Notre Dame ended up finishing the regular season 12-0, being led by Ian Book, who only missed one game against Florida State due to an injury since taking over the starting quarterback job. Book and Notre Dame were selected to participate in the college football playoffs, but were destroyed by the Clemson Tigers 30-3, where Bush only threw for 160 yards and one interception. Book finished the season completing 68.2% of his passes for 2,628 yards, 19 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. Brandon Wimbush decided to transfer to UCF after the season, and the former three-star recruit was now the clear starter for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. During the 2019 season, Ian Book completed 60.2% of his passes for 3,034 yards, 34 touchdowns, and 6 interceptions. He also finished second on the team in rushing yards with 546 yards and 4 touchdowns on the ground. Notre Dame finished the season 11-2 and beat Iowa State in the Camping World Bowl 33-9. Book became the first player in Notre Dame history to throw for at least 2,500 yards, rush for 500 yards, and have 30 passing touchdowns. Book was also named the Offensive Player of the Year for Notre Dame in 2019. Due to the events of 2020, Notre Dame decided to join the ACC Conference for the football season and had a schedule that included Clemson and North Carolina. Most people wrote Notre Dame off as a possible contender for the ACC Championship, including myself. I will admit, Notre Dame was playing much better than I thought they were going to. Other than the Louisville and Clemson game, Notre Dame has dominated the ACC conference so far. Ian Book led Notre Dame to an instant classic win against the Trevor Lawrence list number one Clemson 47-40 in double overtime. During that game, Book threw for 310 passing yards and one touchdown while also rushing for 67 yards. Notre Dame was supposed to play Wake Forest in the regular season finale, but the ACC decided to cancel the game due to Notre Dame clinching a spot in the title game and being undefeated. Book has thrown for 2,381 yards, 15 touchdowns, and 2 interceptions this season, completing 63.3% of his passes. He has also rushed for 465 yards and 8 touchdowns on the ground. Book has accepted to play in the Senior Bowl, meaning he will be leaving for the NFL Draft this season. Book will be leaving Notre Dame as the winningest quarterback in school history. Will Book be able to lead the number two ranked Notre Dame past number three Clemson in the ACC championship game? We will have to wait for the game on December 19th at 4 p.m. on ABC to find out. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos in the Who Is series. Remember to share this video, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to embrace the grind.